New England Gardening. This is the Trumpet Flower Vine. I purchased this off of eBay. It was supposed to be red, but it ends up, ended up being yellow. And uh, I planted it against the fence. And it has these, these fibrous things that attach to anything. You could probably attach to a brick wall, too. And so it has no trouble growing up the fence. The only problem is it's growing over into the neighbor's yard, uh, overhanging, and uh, it's becoming kind of large and it's destroying the fence. So these, uh, the stems here get in between the slats and it's able to ex expand with hydraulics and it's starting to rip the fence apart. So I wouldn't recommend uh, unless you have a fence that you don't mind having destroyed. And it's going to keep the moisture uh, against the fence also. So it's, in hindsight, it wasn't a good idea. And there's a lot of ants. I know it's a lot of, not carpenter ants, but there are these uh, little black ants that I've seen also spreading the scale on my citrus. So I'm going to take this down. And uh, it... Uh, it propagates real easy. You just have one of these vines hang, uh, laying on the ground and it automatically it'll put out roots. So I'll just put this someplace else. So this is New England Gardening and this is the Trumpet Flower Vine. It attracts hummingbirds. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they're thrilled with competing with all the, all the bees it attracts also. But um, not a good idea to plant it on a fence. Thanks for watching. That's better. It was shading my bed, raised bed there from the morning sun. So I'm glad I took that down. So just a final note. The uh, trumpet flower vine had an extensive root system. That was a bear to get out. I didn't get it all out, so ho hopefully it doesn't grow back from remnants of some of the roots uh, to keep on top of it. And now I'm concentrating on getting this butterfly bush out that grew through the pot like three years ago and I just left it there and it's got like a three inch diameter root underneath it.